असलम यूट्यूबर्स वेलकम बैक टू एस एल के टूट्स हियर इन दिस सेक्शन वील बी जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्लोर इज अ क्वान्टिटी सर्वेयर हाउ कैन यू फाइंड मटीरियल्स जस्ट फॉर फ्लोर वील जस्ट स्टार्ट विद ए फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स राइट हियर इन द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वी आर जस्ट इन पाम डेट द टोटल फ्लोर एरिया इज थ्री जीरो स्क्वेयर मीटर and the section is also given uh, with the base is a brick ballast 12 cm thickness and the concrete ratio is also given with its thickness the topping 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 and the topping is given as 13 cement with stone chips and of course the thickness of this topping is also given as 4 cm so far so good everybody okay and here in this section uh, we are just asked to calculate all these materials in palm up uh, volume or in palm up numbers uh anything everything is given i'll just come straight into solutions in the solution my first approach will be this brick ballast of course uh this is a base this must be uh this total area times the thickness of this layer just plug in check in in this equation you must get 30 which is floor area time thickness uh with uh 0.12 actually uh, this is 12 cm just divide this guy with uh r by 100 you uh, you can convert this uh, to meters Just do mathematics with this guy. You must get brick ballast in the base three point six cubic meter, and this was our approach. We have done it. This was just first. My second approach will be concrete work in this base. The ratio is one three six. Remember, uh, I just first need uh, the total volume of this concrete. Then I'll calculate pi aggregate cos. with binding materials so the total weight volume of this concrete layer must be uh, this top area which is total floor area it's given as 30 times the thickness of concrete layer which is base with 12 cm you must get 3.6 cubic meter all right now we are ready to calculate our uh, binding materials and find the cos aggregates for this we have a nice formula for the detail of this formula you can watch in the same playlist a video or a tool named as how to calculate cement sand and boundary and uh, pcc works that will a uh, little help you no problem uh, don't worry uh, i am explaining here as well all right So uh, uh, first, uh, I just want to calculate cements, our binding material. The ratio of material, just look here. Concrete is given as one three six, so it means the one is binding material, our cement. I just put uh, the ratio of material is one. Sum up ratio. What's the sum up ratio? Let me just calculate over here. The ratio is given as one three six. What will be its summation? Of course, it's ten. So I'll just put this value over here. Times dry volume. What's dry volume? We have only wet concrete. The dry volume can be calculated uh, just very nicely when you multiply one point five four with wet volume. You can get dry volume. It's not challenging. All right. So it's 5.544 cubic meter. Just put this guy who are here in this equation. You must get the volume of cement is 0.5544 cubic meter. But the cements are uh, just like known in volume, uh, or you can say these guys are just known uh, with some batching, or with some uh, types of bags. So I'll just convert this guy into bags. 
by dividing its point zero three five, which is a one cement bag volume in cubic meter. All right, so you must get fifteen point eight bags. I'll just come straight into point aggregates. Let me just call this with send. Just look to the ratio. The pine aggregate ratio is three. It means pine aggregate must be three times of cement. So we have already cement. 0.5544. I'll just multiply this guy with three. So I can just get pine aggregates is 1.66 cubic meter. Now I'm ready to calculate my budgery. Actually, it's coarse aggregate. Just look at this ratio at six. Six means the coarse segregate must be taken six times of cement, or two times of pine aggregates. That's good. I'll multiply uh, the volume of cements with six. I must get coarse segregate. And this was our second approach. The last approach is. Topping. Topping. It's good. So I'll just come straight. My next approach is topping with stone chips, and it's the mix of cement and stone chips with one three ratio. So I just need a total volume of this topping. Uh, therefore, uh, because I just need uh, to calculate stone chips and cement separately. The volume is the same thing. I'll just uh, multiply 30 with the thickness of this topping, which is four centimeter. It means it's 0 0.04 meter. You must get 1.2 cubic meter as total weight volume. Now I'm ready to calculate stone chips and cement separately using the same formula we did a few minutes ago, just for concrete. Here in this formula, I just want to calculate cements first. Ratio of material. The material ratio is 1 divided by sum up ratio. Sum up ratio, let me just calculate over here. The ratio is, is 1, 3. What will be at sum? Of course, it's 4. Just put this guy over here. Times dry volume. It's the same thing we did just for this concrete. But here the constant video is little change. It's 1.27. In the concrete, uh, you have already seen that it was 1.54. So, uh, weight volume 1.2 times 1.27. You must get 1.524 cubic meter. So, just put this guy over here in this equation. You must get cement 0.381 cubic meter. Of course, you can convert these guys into bags by dividing its 0.035, which is one bag cement volume. You must get 10.88 bags. That's good. So my next approach is stone chips. All right. Uh, just look, uh, in this ratio, you can clearly see the stone chips is three times of cement. We have already calculated cements, which is 0 0.381 cubic meter. I'll just multiply this guy with three. So I can get stone chips value, which is this one. And this was our last approach. Let me write these guys together. Materials in some base. This is only break blast. And second approach is concrete. In the concrete, we have cements, sand, or pine aggregate, budgery, or coarse aggregate. In the topping, we have cement and stone chips as well. And this is our material statement. Actually, the material statements can be written on a table. Here, I'm not explaining that table, all right? Inshallah, I'll explain that table uh, later in the uh, next video, maybe. 
or maybe not. So uh, here uh, we uh, we just uh, came to know how to calculate different types of materials uh, in any slab. Sorry, it's not a slab. Is it slab? Of course, it's slab, but it's not a slab. You can call this a floor. But is this floor? Of course it is. <laughs> Don't be double mind. All right. So uh, it is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time and wassalam.